good morning everyone just we'll wait for a few minutes and then we'll start the session Good morning, Samir. You can stop your video. Good morning, sir. You can stop your video. Your video is on. There is a camera. You can stop it. Just we'll wait for two, three minutes and then we'll start the session, please. Okay, let me share my screen. I hope you are able to see my screen and uh, you are able to listen my voice clearly. Can anyone respond, please? Oh, yes, Satya. Thank you. <coughs> yes. So. Anyone is joining, if you if it is possible, you can click on right click here. Allow them. Okay, who is joining? So right side it will be shown here. Okay, you can simply click yellow. 
so initial uh, for two three days a little bit uh, complex because whoever is joining whoever is not joining not sure so we need to allow right side here fine let me go to the content directly microsoft dynamics 365 f1 Microsoft Dynamics 365 F1O application we are landing. We are going to land. So in this 627, 627, it is SCM supply chain management. Okay, and 78 finance. 627 supply chain management and 78 finance. So I hope. See, even you are looking for any module, it is fine, but uh, you can join for these three days. These three days, today, tomorrow, and after tomorrow. You can join for both finance and SEM. Even if you are looking for one or two modules, no problem. You can join for both for today, tomorrow, and after tomorrow. Later on, whoever is paid fee, those people only will be allowed. Now, if you want to understand dynamics, before that, you need to understand what is this business process. So once you learn this one, what is your role? You are going to join in a software company. You are going to join in a software company as a functional consultant. Okay, there are so many roles inside. Functional means implementation consultant, support consultant, test engineer, system analyst, pre-sales. There are so many, so many roles. Okay. However, once you learn this application, you are going to become a consultant in a software company. Maybe Accenture, TCS, Infosys. There are so many companies. Okay. Then what is your role? So you are going to work for a project. You are going to work for a project. So the project means, project means here, project means client. Once you join in a software company, you are going to work for a project. That project is called, for this company it is called a client. So in our example, we are taking USMF as a company. Okay, what is this USMF? I will show you. Okay, so you are going to work for a project. That project is called, for you it is project. For this companies, this is called client. Okay, this client, what they will do? Any client, what they will do? They will purchase the material. They will sell the material. Will purchase the material and they will sell the material. So, to purchase this process we need to understand the entire purchasing process or procurement process and then you are selling material to the customers then you need to understand sales process so to understand purchasing process or procurement process we need to understand procurement and sourcing module and partially it is related to accounts payable module little bit Majorly procurement and sourcing module, you are going to learn. And sales process. Here, sales process means that sales and marketing means here, sales and marketing module, you need to understand. So, you need to understand purchase process and sales process. Purchase process and sales process, you need to understand. That is the primary function which you are going to learn for SEM supply chain management trade and logistics module. Okay. Fine. So, what is this purchase process? Supply chain management part of trade and law. So, first process is purchase process. You need to learn. Purchase process. So, purchase process means what is the steps? First, we need to create purchase order. Next, we need to do 
purchase order confirmation confirm next product received and vendor invoice okay so let me finish 10 15 minutes discussion if you have any doubts we'll discuss so the purchase process or purchasing process means purchasing process means purchase order creation purchase order create purchase order confirmation product receipt vendor invoice what is this one by one steps you need to understand because in in your studies you may learn this process or you may not you don't know about these words at all sometimes okay so let me explain you one by one what is the purpose of this one by one steps what is this purchase order creation what do you mean by purchase order creation okay now you need to go to this organization as i told you you are going to join in a software company and you are going to work for a project that project is called a client so what this client will do they will purchase the material so if they want to purchase the material this client company usmf company will give an order to this one <clears throat> so suppose i need two washing machines two laptops two leds then i need to inform from this company to here so if you want to learn erp any erp if you want to learn erp rather than you need to imagine rather than you are working for a software company you need to imagine you are running a business then it will be easy for you to understand actually your place is here you are going to join in a software company but you need to imagine like you have started a business example one electronic shop you have started if you imagine this one it will be easy for you to understand like what is the business process okay so imagine you are running a business to be frankly you are not working in this company you are working in this company software company but imagine you are running a business suppose you have invested 5 crores 5 crores of money and you are purchasing material you are selling material okay so if you are purchasing now you need to give information to this vendor this is vendor company these are also companies only these are vendor companies these are customer companies and this is software company you are you are running your business okay you need to imagine this is you are running your business so now you want 10 washing machines 10 laptops then you need to inform to this vendor so how can you inform over phone yes we can do it but that is not a best practice because the words may be changed because you have informed like i need 10 washing machines but uh, the client may think like he is expecting 20 washing machines he may send so as a proof you are going to create a purchase order you are going to create a purchase order purchase order means informing to vendor vendor about your purchase you need so many items i want 10 washing machines 10 laptops whatever it is so that information you are going to create here and you are taking a print out and you are sending this print out to the vendor over email so i started my career in 2000 in the year 2000 i started my career so at that time there is no email concept initially then they will send physical copy or they will call over phone and they will inform nowadays we can send an email to the vendor otherwise there are some other ways we can do it so purchase order creation means we are informing to the vendor account vendor company this vendor company what are the items you want that information you are informing that is purchase order purchase order creation means we are giving information 
to the vendor what are the items required. Next, purchase order confirmation. Here, purchase order confirmation means if you want these items, there should be a budget should be there. What do you mean by budget? Suppose if you are running a business with uh, by investing five crores, can you purchase 10 crores, 15 crores of material? No. So confirmation is it will validate the budget. If you don't mind, can you mute yourself, please, everyone? Please. Thank you. Fine. So it will validate the budget. So internally, it will whether the budget amounts are there or not, it will validate. So that what is that budget and everything we'll discuss later in future. Okay. Next, product receipt. Product receipt means we have received the material. We have received the material from the vendor. Suppose I'm running my business in Hyderabad. I'm running my business in Hyderabad. Uh, the vendor or supplier is in Mumbai. Then he, once I have given information to the vendor, he will send that material. He will send that material. The truck will start from here and it may take one day, two days time. Once it is reached to my premises, my company premises, then I will take that is receiving the material. So if you update product receipt, what happens? On hand inventory. On hand physical inventory. Will be increased. On hand physical inventory will be increased. That means uh, it in the system, suppose already in my warehouse, two washing machines are there and I have received 10 washing machines, then it will become 2 plus 10, it is 12. So on hand inventory will be increased. At the time of vendor invoice, what happens? So financial postings. So financial postings means this is related to finance here. That means vendor account will be updated. <coughs> so vendor account means for this washing machine, suppose <coughs> 20,000, each washing machine is 20,000. Then 20,000 multiplied with the 10 I have received, 2 lakhs rupees need to update in the vendor account. I need to pay amount. I need to pay this amount. I means here this company. This company need to pay uh, two lakhs rupees that should be recorded in the system that is financial postings. So to be frankly, vendor invoice is a part of finance means debit and credits is a part of finance. OK, so finance consultant will take care about that one. We are just updating financial window. Is it clear this purchase order process? Any confusions, any questions? Purchase order creation, purchase order confirmation, product receipt, vendor invoice. So only this process, there are so many processes inside about purchasing. Okay, first initial step you are lending. Okay, this is First step only. There are so many processes within this purchase order. There are so many processes. <clears throat> so purchasing process means purchase order creation, purchase order confirmation, product receipt, vendor invoice. Let me show you this one in the system and then we'll come back here. If you have any doubts, we'll discuss. So the application will be, you can open the browser on the browser and you can click on the link web link <clears throat> then 
in real time scenario, it will ask you username and password. If you are, this is a trial version. That is the reason it is opening automatically. But in real time scenario, if you have, if you are working for a client, wherever you are working, as I told you here, you are joining in a software company and you are working for a client. You are working for a project that is called client. Okay. This client environment will be given to you for trial version. So you need to enter the username and password. Then only it will be opened. But here, for practicing purpose, you can open this one. Once you open this one, it is coming as a DAT company. Okay, you need to go here. You need to select USMF company. Okay, Microsoft has provided already the setups and the configurations in this company. So for practicing purpose, initially, you need to use this uh, USMF company. Okay, you can double, you can right click here and you can go to duplicate tab. Automatically, one more tab will be open. Your wish, how you want. Fine. Now, this is the company you are going to learn. You are going to practice in this company, USMF. Later on, we will create one company like the B01, B02, like this. Okay, you are going to, I'm going to create one company and I will show you later. So now your batch is uh, B10, B112, batch 112. So I have provided training to many batches. Now it is 112 batch. Okay, here, every batch, uh, later on after some time I will remove, but uh, here you can see my batches. All these batches I'm conducting. Okay, I will storage. If this storage is increased, I will delete usually. So this is up to, uh, there are so many batches completed. So now it is 112 batch for SEM. Okay. <clears throat> Fine. Now let me proceed here. This is the company. You are practicing. You are going to practice in this company, SMF. And here you will find the modules. You will find the modules. So the first one is you need to go to procurement and sourcing module. Procurement and sourcing module. Collapse all purchase orders, all purchase orders. So let me write down the path for this one. Procurement and sourcing. Procurement and sourcing. Module. Purchase orders. All purchase orders. So the module is here. Procurement and sourcing. Procurement and sourcing. Purchase orders. All purchase orders. So once you click here, you will see the path. Procurement and sourcing. Purchase orders. All purchase orders. So you can click on new button. You can click on new button. And you can select the vendor account from which vendor you are planning to purchase. You can select the vendor. I'm selecting the first vendor, ACME Office Supplies. I'm selecting the vendor account. So address is coming automatically. From where it is coming, I will explain you later. And the purchase order number is coming automatically. From where it is coming, you will understand later. And the purchase types you are going to learn. All these things you are going to learn. So you have selected a vendor account and click OK. <clears throat> okay, now you can select the item. 
item means washing machine so here we can select the item 1000 whatever the item is there we can select next site and warehouse is mandatory what is this site and warehouse you will understand later warehouse means your company where it is located simple example i'm telling you site means example hyderabad is one site hyderabad is one site in that hyderabad i have four warehouses one is in dilshuknagar another one is in amirpet one more is in kukatpally another one is in chandanagar so then those are warehouses otherwise another example i'm taking bangalore bangalore is the site bangalore city is a site in that we have marthahalli one one uh, warehouse another one is silk board warehouse in silk board i have warehouse another one is in kengeri i have one more warehouse so then those are warehouses so warehouse means the actual premises you are running the business so wherever you are working wherever you are running your business that is actual warehouse site is it is virtual kind of thing so for any transaction site and warehouse is mandatory okay fine suppose i'm giving an order for 100 pieces surface pro 128 gb this is a laptop actually so i'm purchasing 100 pieces so each one is it is 899 so the price is from where it is coming means there are three to four different places the price will come from purchase agreement trade agreements item master there are some some other different ways so from where it is coming you will understand this one later fine 100 multiply with 899 it is 89900 is the amount 89900 amount now i'm doing confirm in the purchase these are the tabs these are tabs so in the demo i told you you need to understand little bit technical knowledge i told you we need to understand little bit technical knowledge okay what is this technical knowledge means here this one these are called tabs this is technical words tabs so Purchase at a tab, purchase tab, manage tab, receive tab. And this is journals is area page. Area area. Generate is a area page. Okay. So area page and these are buttons. Non-conformance button, quality order button, invoice, invoice button. These are buttons. So we need to go to purchase tab. Purchase tab, and you need to go to actions. There are two buttons actually in generate area page confirmation, in actions confirm. Both are same, but there is a little bit difference. So this one is without printout. This is with printout. We'll discuss the points later. Okay. Fine. Now I'm clicking on actions confirm button. If I click this one. This approved status will be changed to confirm. This approved status will be changed to confirm. usually it will take one or two seconds only but my laptop is not a big server so it was taking 10 to 15 seconds so the now status is confirmed so the second step is completed the second step purchase order confirmation done next product receipt next we need to do product receipt so before going to do product receipt, here we can do product receipt. Receive tab, generate area page, product receipt we have. But before that, I'm just opening the item master. <clears throat> product information management, product information management, products, 
released products. So whatever you are giving an order for item 1000, item 1000, here you can see item 1000. I'm opening this item number. So here, if you go to manage inventory, view on hand inventory, if you verify on hand inventory. At present, in the warehouse 11, we don't have stock. But added in total is showing here 100. Added in total means we are receiving material from the vendor. On order means sales order quantity. I will discuss with you this one. Now, physical inventory is zero. Now I'm doing product receipt, receive tab, generate area page, product receipt button. So I'm entering product receipt number. What is this product receipt number means? Actually, as I told you, the vendor will send the material to you. Whenever they are sending material, some suppose this is from Mumbai. From Mumbai, they're sending material to your premises. Then this vendor will generate a delivery document. He will generate a delivery document and he will give it to the truck driver. And one copy to your company, one copy to the truck, one copy to their filing. So they will have, they will generate a delivery document number. That document number is product receipt number. You need to enter here. So for practicing purpose, this is a dummy number, but in real time scenario, it is very, very important. Okay, I'm entering for number and document date. Suppose this is generated yesterday, then it is 25th. Because vendor generated this document yesterday, but not feature date. Either it is today or backdated. Fine. I'm clicking on OK. As I told you, whenever if you are doing product receipt in the here, I have explained whenever you are doing product receipt, on hand physical inventory will be increased. So now product receipt is completed. After completion, I will verify on hand. Okay, now if you verify on hand inventory, here this is screen refresh, this is browser refresh, this is browser refresh, this is screen refresh. I'm clicking on screen refresh, then automatically showing physical inventory. That means 100 we have received in our warehouse. The next step is vendor invoice. Vendor invoice means Vendor will generate the invoice copy to you and they will say, they will arrange it to you. Then we will update that invoice. So at that time, vendor balance will be increased. Vendor account balance will be increased. So now I'm doing for this vendor 1001. Let me take duplicate. Okay. I'm going to procurement and sourcing module. Vendors, all vendors. <clears throat> now, if you open this item uh, like vendor 1001, ACME RP supplies. So if you verify transactions, <clears throat> So if you verify, this is February, Feb 2024. Feb 22, it is available, some transaction. Now I'm doing invoice today. <coughs> invoice tab, generate area page, invoice button.
So I'm entering one dot invoice number and invoice date. And here it is math status. What is this math status after one month you are going to learn? So here update math status. There are matching policies. I will explain you later in future. Now it is passed. Now we can post. Okay. Before posting, we can verify the totals. The amount, whatever you have received from the vendor, that invoice copy. In this, actually, there are charges you are going to learn, taxes you are going to learn, and any discounts you are going to learn. All these things you are going to learn uh, one by one, day by, like uh, in coming sessions. Okay. Click close. Now you can post. The same purchase order process you are going to learn at least two weeks. So at least 10 days you are going to learn so many options, so many different different ways how to do it. You are going to learn. So once it is invoice is posted, invoice is generated. That means vendor will arrange this invoice copy. Vendor will arrange invoice copy. And you will receive invoice copy. That invoice number we have entered just now. We have entered. Now, once it is posted, that is generated invoice. If you go to vendor transactions, the value is it is 89,900. That will show you here in the vendor transactions. If I refresh, so it was posted like 89,100 today. It is 26th March. It was posted 89,900. So this is purchase order process. So if I explain only one time, you may not remember the entire process. I will repeat the session so that you can understand. So purchasing process means first we need to create a purchase order. Then we need to do confirm and then product receipt and then invoice. In between, there are so many steps. There is approval process. In between, there is approval process. What is this approval process? Tomorrow I will explain you. What is this approval process? And after confirmation, we have registration process. What is this registration? I will explain you later. Okay, not only that one, there are many things inside you need to understand. So simple step now you learned purchase order creation. Actually, one second. This is I need to mention here. Okay, purchase order creation. After that, approval process I have skipped. What is that? I will explain you tomorrow. And registration process I have skipped. I will explain you tomorrow or day after tomorrow. And then product will sit and invoice. So now you can unmute. You can ask me as many as questions. Do you have any questions, any doubts, anything? Please let me know. So I hope everyone joined for my, my demo session. If not, I will give you a brief about uh, what is this dynamics course and everything? So you are going to learn functional knowledge, then how to operate dynamics and some ERP concepts, and then little bit technical knowledge and interview techniques. All these things in my training I will teach you. It is not relevant for you, commerce. It is commerce knowledge is not relevant for you because you are not a finance consultant. You join for SCM consultant this session. Okay, so I will teach you all these things. And you need to do these things. It is in your hand. Good communication skills. So here, a good communication skills and education qualification for the company, practicing with the system, opportunity in the market. It is not in my control. So whenever I'm teaching, I will I will explain you first transactions. Now the purchase order process is a transaction. What is this master data means? 
vendor account is a master item is a master those things are master data and setups and configurations means like charges transportation charges taxes all these are setups and configurations so slowly you will understand all these things once you understand once you are familiar with the transactions first and then master data and then setups and configurations slowly once you understood then i will create a new company sample project okay and then you can go for parameters configuration setups and configurations masters and transaction all these things i will teach you so as i told you 26th today it is i have given demo on 12th and different dates so 26 27 28 three days it is free whether you have interest whether you are interested or not interested you can join the sessions no no need to pay any fee after that if you want to continue you need to pay fee so 6 to 7 at scm module trade and logistics 7 to 8 finance so in between 10 days i will combine both batches both batches because i need to explain for both batches some topics common topics i will explain you okay fine any questions please unmute and you can ask me any questions yes please mohanj hi sir uh, so uh, how do we receive this data like do we receive it in the form of files flat files or uh, do we get uh, all this data from database like how do we get it how do we manage data in real time uh, i did not get your question can you elaborate please data so key, you, uh, yeah yes please uh, so question. when you say invoice hmm. number or uh, when you say hmm. product order okay. number all this how do we get it okay okay fine understood good question so let me go here so we will receive a document from uh, like if you look at this one a print out this is normal traditional information a print out we will receive the information there are different ways otherwise electronic form also it is there edi that is also possible so usually the physical copy the physical copy we will receive from the vendor and we will update if it is a soft copy some soft copy physical copy then integration is required little bit technical efforts is required uh, if the vendor is also a, like microsoft or same microsoft they are using then it is simplified not a complex if it is a other vendors may not the vendors may not be the using the same dynamics application they may use other erp then if you want to receive soft copies yes you can receive soft copy in xml or html different different formats are there in that case if you want to integrate with the product with that one with this one a small technical help is required technical consultant will help us to integrate the uh, their uh, edi file with uh, our application and we can work it okay sir yeah any more some more people are asking yeah arvind please good morning satya yeah good morning. uh i'm i'm just wondering okay we started the process of uh, p2p or purchase order we yeah. we haven't raised a requisition isn't it so is that so, not i will ex i will explain you later on because i have some techniques so if i start okay. with the purchase requisition people will get confused okay okay so yeah. yeah, got it so got first it. i will start with uh, uh, like uh, see my way of teaching is let let me explain you so i will explain like this first a small topic then the same topic i will explain second day with this much <coughs> same purchase order process with many scenarios and then same purchase order process with more scenarios then on top of this one purchase requisition on top of this one request for quotation process all these things will be covered in the future because if i start with our request for quotation or rfq people will not understand what do you mean by that function because this is a very simple function easy to adapt by everyone first then i will i will make it that is see my 
strength is I have provided training till now 900 people directly. 900 people I have provided training. I have a WhatsApp group of 700 people. All are my students. 700 people WhatsApp group. So why people are joining? My presentation is my my strength. There are so many people provided training, but my strength is the presentation. So uh, I will keep in mind like you don't know about dynamics anything. You don't know any ERP. Just you have completed your graduation. You came to you join this session. Then you don't know anything. Then I need to introduce one by one. What is the words of this purchase order? Everything I need to introduce. So that is the reason whenever I'm teaching, I will I will, I will explain you like the first one is functional knowledge or domain knowledge. That is the real time scenarios. So I will start with purchase order. It will be easy to understand. Okay, that is the reason I started with this one. Okay, Good. Thank you. Thank you. Can I ask? Uh, out of the box question because I was yeah, not please, able no to problem. be on yeah. the demo. Is that OK? No, yeah, no I problem. I just want to understand how is the market for dynamics? You know, I mean, I don't see uh, mm. as many jobs mean with based on your experience. What do you think the market <laughs> is going to be? So, for example, we're going to spend another two and a half months uh, <laughs> learning yeah. dynamics. So yeah. do you think uh, as as an example, yes, if you see mm. financials, yes, there is always yeah. a demand for financials. Mm. But mm. what do you think uh, the SEM modules? Because I'm I have a bit of knowledge from the SEM side, and okay. Okay. a little bit on uh, you know, like you said, uh, account payables, account receivables. Mm. I do have a, mm. a small knowledge, and I worked uh, mm. in uh, Oracle ERP a long, long mm -hmm. back ten years mm -hmm. ago. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. is this the right time uh, for me to look into mm -hmm. SCM at this time into dynamics? Do you think mm -hmm. it's going to have a very good potential? Uh, sure. So I was just wondering. Sure. Uh, sorry, it's, it's an out of box question. No problem. My That's fine. That's fine because any doubts, it's fine. No problem. Now let Thank me you. go to this one to answer this question. So. So I'm just uh, drawing a line. Okay. So the question is whether it is a big one or small one first. Is it a big or small? In? Is it a small big or small? My, it's it, like this is the question is wrong. Need a comparison. My, my question is wrong. Why? If I draw a big la big line. This is becoming a small. Okay. If I draw like this, then this is a big one. Okay. Now, coming to this uh, question. Okay. So now, the opportunities, majorly opportunities. For anyone, suppose if I'm joining Dynamics, so why I need to join Dynamics? Whether I can join an SAP or other clubs. Right? There may be so many. There is a people soft, there is a bond, like a uh, wings, focus, tally. There are so many ERPs in the market. Why I need to join Diamond? This is my question first. For anyone, this is my first question. Why I need to join this one? So the answer is easy to understand and Work with this application. To whom? Not for us, to business users. The client, wherever you are working, because, because this client is using, that is the reason you are getting opportunities. So it is very easy. This application is very, very user friendly. This application is very, very user friendly. That is the reason when compared with other ERPs, any ERPs, other ERPs, this product is growing a lot. The reason behind here, the business users can adapt this application easily. Okay, suppose an accountant. An accountant, he what he will do? He will do vendor invoice, vendor payment, something transactions. So for them, it is very easy to understand. Whereas other ERPs like SAP, Oracle Labs, there are so many ERPs in the market, is not that much user friendly. The main advantage for this Dynamics is 
user friendly that is the reason the application is growing like anything okay i love sap i i learned sap also to compare this applications but the problem is if you want to become a sap business user you need to learn so many things it will take some time whereas dynamics it is very user friendly that is the easy and uh, uh, you can understand very fast okay, okay. so uh, that is the reason it is this product is growing a lot and if it is uh, the clients are increasing if the clients are increasing then we are getting more opportunities got it arvind uh, actually uh, you know like when compare when, uh, when if you want to learn arc labs you are expertise in that arc labs you know like how it is complex am i right yeah i mean it's been it's been a very long time I mean, i have yeah, yeah. worked mm -hmm. uh, for a while on erp uh, mm -hmm. but i and i got i got your point I mean, i just wanted to understand the market i can, i can see why this is getting popular because it's uh, it has so many integrations now and it's uh, very user friendly mm -hmm. in lots of business uh, perspectives and all um, yeah. yeah i got i got your point satya yeah thank you yeah, yeah. and one more thing i will tell you one thing like uh, if it is a, my company is a big organization suppose like uh, reliance or uh, lnt a company kind of thing still uh, the company is very large organizations like uh, uh, 1 lakh crores uh, 50000 crores businesses they are using sap and they operate like uh, their uh, uh, like uh, legal entities particularly for uh, um, each and every legal entity wherever you, uh, people are working they are making in dynamics and they are integrating with the dynamics versus sap also dynamics versus uh, arc labs also so the operating units they are making dynamics because it is user friendly that is the main advantage from dynamics okay, okay. i understand yeah? Th thank you so much yeah appreciate sure. it yeah. yes shashank uh, you have raised your question yeah can you yes sir. Uh, my question yeah. is like for the 10 days uh, supply chain and the finance classes would be like together right it's eight uh, morning okay. 6 to 8 so it will be 10 days only it's not like the entire session so it is 10 days in the middle around uh, april uh, 10th or may first week i will combine both sessions april end or may first week and 10 working days i will combine both 6 to 8 but okay so from you, not not today right because not today I, no no it is a double, separate session this is separate session and this is separate session Okay. this 10 days will be uh, in the month of april month end or may first week i will combine both sessions okay and uh, this will last around like two and half months the course for supply yeah. chain yes yes and so, after that there are some hmm. like like i am living in canada there are some hmm. uh, jobs related to manufacturing and distribution mm -hmm. they are asking for like supply chain uh, courses the dynamics 365 a little bit of experience in supply chain so is it relevant to apply for these jobs like manufacturing so definitely it will be it will definitely it will be relevant so see one finance and scm trade and logistics you are learning the first module this one after that if you really want you can learn scm manufacturing it is weekend saturday sunday 6 to 8 so already one batch is running so Uh, it is going on this batch already one and a half month back i have already started this uh, this batch so it is 6 to 8 if it is if you are looking for manufacturing because you are using the word manufacturing or uh, scm mm -hmm. because see if you want to become a scm expert first if you learn scm trade and logistics then you are becoming a trade and logistics scm junior consultant and if you learn wms advanced warehouse management transportation management land and cost it is senior consultant scm senior consultant if you learn manufacturing then scm expert so it is not like you need to learn this order first it is must scm trade and logistics then based on your requirement you can learn warehouse management or manufacturing these two are independent but if you want to learn either this one or this one this is a prerequisite mm -hmm. so clear if yeah, you want to become a finance expert then first you need to start with the finance then you can learn trade and logistics scm because in this project management and accounting 
item related setups and item related a lot you need to learn so if you want to become a pma expert then it is mandatory you need to learn trend elastic so if you want to become a finance expert this is mandatory and if you want to become a retail expert then first you need to start with the trend elastics then you can learn retail and e-commerce so these are the three major parts of course hr and payroll is there but hr and payroll is very limited very limited so that there are some different reasons why it is not used in the same application because they, i don't want to show my uh, employee details in the same database so i will go for external so hr and payroll utilization of uh, i mean to say uh, the using of this hr and payroll in dynamics is very limited okay sir. thank you yeah Any more questions, please? Yes, Shashank. Is it over? Your question? Yeah, I, I'm Avinash. done. Yeah, thank okay. you. Yeah, Avinash, please. Yeah, uh, suppose we miss uh, any class, what happens that that day? So, I'm doing recordings. So I will give you. I will arrange your video recording sessions. So let me show you. Uh, like how the way I'm providing now. Uh, let me go back. See, suppose this batch. So I'm providing training and uh, I'm giving video recordings. Okay, like this. Every day I'll provide you in Excel. At present, I'm providing like this. I'm looking for some in any other shortcut, but here I'm providing like this. So if you click on this link and you can get the video recordings and you can you can go through that one. This links will be each link will be available up to four months. And one more thing I want to tell you. So uh, I I'm giving you offer second time free. Second time free means within the same year. Suppose you have learned this batch. Next batch you can join free of cost. If you miss next batch also, next batch also it is fine. Means uh, now it is in the month of March. I mean to say April. So April actually it is starting in from the April 1st. Okay, now April, May, June, May, it is completed. So immediately if you want to join next batch, yes, free of cost you can join. Suppose you missed that uh, uh, July, June, July, August. Then September when I'm starting a new batch, you can join free of cost. So you can join subsequently next batch or next to next batch free of cost. I'm not going to charge any amount. And I will give you this video recordings. This links will be expired in four months. So second January means this is this will be expired on second May. And this link will be expired on third May. OK, like this it will be I will provide video recordings so you can go through and you can practice. So you yeah. will share this file with us. Yes, exactly. Exactly. I'm going to provide this. Uh, uh, recording sessions okay and still if you are not able to speak with me in the in front of everyone still if you have any doubts you can ping me in my whatsapp number my mobile number is 9866699810 the same thing i have provided here also 9866669810 <clears throat> my linkedin profile is ax satya so if you google Google by my name, Ek Satya. You will find my details. I have a channel, YouTube channel, and I have like Ek Satya, Facebook, and Ek Satya. All are Ek Satya only. So you will find my, my face. Okay, if you type MS Satya, Satya Nadella will come. Satya means Satya Nadal. So if you type A Satya, my name. Yeah, I have a YouTube channel also. You can uh, go through this if you want. Sample videos I have provided. And still, if you have any questions in your mind and you are not able to speak in front of everyone, if you have some personal questions, something specific to you. Then you can call me and my number, and I will suggest you what is the best way. Okay. 
Any more questions, please? <clears throat> I said, yeah, this is Arvind again. Yes, one, la one last yeah. question. So yes, we, we are practicing and for example, how do you oh, clarify doubt clarification sessions? How do you handle this? And yes. where do we need to do? We have any blog where you post your uh, <laughs> doubts or the errors which you get? No. Do you do? No. You... See, it's not like posting. First thing is during training, you need to ask in, in the session only. Yes. You, whenever mm -hmm. you are practicing, so I will make you present. You can present your screen and you can show me what is the error message. And then okay. I will rectify the error messages in the training session. That will help to not only to you, to the entire team. So that is the reason I told you happy pause. You need to learn. Negative scenarios is your business. Your major important is negative scenarios. Yes. Failure <clears throat> is the most important. And whenever you are getting error message, you are getting yellow screen or orange, orange ribbon and red ribbon. That is most important your learnings. Blue ribbon is not the one. Means successful process is not the, your, uh, your uh, core area is not positive scenarios. You need to learn negative scenarios. So I will show you whenever I'm creating a new company, whenever I'm creating a new company, I will do it only one time, company creation process. You need yes, to do every day one company. You need to do every day one time, one, one company, every day one company. At <clears> least <throat> 25 companies you need to create. Then you will get clear picture. After completion of this one, I have doubts. Then, as I told you, I have a Satya WhatsApp group. 700 people are there. In okay. that, I will add everyone. So you I can understand. discuss internally. Yeah. Good, good. Thank you, Satya. Yeah, thanks. You're welcome. Yes, please. Someone is asking. Uh, Avinash or Shashank. Any more questions, team? Please share the details of uh, the software provider. Uh, so software provider here, I have given his number. So let me show here. This is the number. 94942-54826. Nine four nine four two five four eight two six. Any more questions, please? Any more questions? Avinash, do you uh, is it clear your questions? Till do you have any questions? Uh, what about the access of? Uh... So that's what here you need to approach this guy for practicing the system, am I right? Yes. There are one is if you have a laptop, you can get it installed in your laptop with the help of Raj Shakri. He will charge some money. You can uh, learn this one. Otherwise, through web link, you can get a web link. You can purchase a web link from Raj Shakri. It is six months validity. So he will uh, like uh, this is. He will purchase from some other server provider and he will arrange it to you. We can approach this guy. Okay. Just hold on, I'm noting down his number. Just yeah, yeah, please. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Is it fine? So we'll, let us yeah. let us join for finance session because people are joining in this session uh, I, by mistakenly maybe. So now it is seven o'clock. We have another link. <clears throat> I have shared with you one more link. Seven o'clock link. Please join that seven o'clock link. This is SCM link. That is finance link. Please join in finance. Okay. See you all. Bye bye.